hello students welcome back to the second video of this playlist so in this video uh, we will be solving question number two from may 2024 p1 regional paper so let's see what's the question number two is about so basically the concepts behind question number two it's from uh, chapter number two and chapter number three you can say so the basically these are the concepts from quadratics and equations and inequalities so if i say to be more specific here you will be dealing with quadratic and linear inequalities like solving the quadratic and linear inequalities and also the completing completing the square form of uh, quadratic chapter and these stuffs okay so let's get started with the second question so at first in part question number two part a they are asking to solve 5 times x plus 3 greater than 4 times twice of x minus 5 so we need to solve this linear inequality how is it linear because the power of x here you can see it is maximum 1 so that is a linear inequality okay for part a what we need to do we need to solve this inequality so at first multiply the brackets and expand it so 5 times x that is 5x plus what 15 5x plus 15 greater than what 4 times 2 that is 8x 8x minus 5 times 4 that is what 20 right so we need to solve this inequality so take all the terms with x on one side so take 5x to the right side so it will be 8x minus 5x that is thrice of x since it is in the left on the less than side so it will be less than negative 20 take this to the left it will be 20 plus 15 that is 35 so the solution would be to this linear inequality x less than 35 over 3 we divided both sides by 3 and this is the solution next for part b in number one they are asking to write x square negative 6 x plus 1 that's a quadratic equation in the form of x plus a whole squared plus b where a and b are constants okay x plus a whole squared plus b what's that form this form is basically called as the completing the square form right this form is the completing the square form so what's the formula for completing the square we know x okay uh, it's what x squared x squared plus b x equals to what x plus b over 2 whole squared right minus what minus b over 2 whole squared this is the formula for completing the square so look the first two terms of this equation x squared negative 6x it's in the it's it, it can be compared in the form x squared plus b x right where b will be negative 6 right so let's consider that for part b 1 we need we, we, we need to convert x square negative 6 x plus 1 in the form of completing the square so x plus b over 2 that is negative 6 over 2 that is negative 3 whole square x plus b by 2 whole square minus minus b by 2 whole squared b by 2 is what negative 3 right negative 3 whole squared and there is a constant that is plus 1 isn't it plus 1 so plus 1 so this is the completing the square form of the given quadratic equation so you'll get x minus 3 whole squared negative 9 plus 1 so that would give you what negative 9 plus 1 is what negative 8 so x minus 3 whole squared negative 8 done so the value for a here it's what negative 3 and the value for b it's what negative 8 done okay next is uh, part 2 in part 2 they are asking hence solve hence solve that means we need to use our answer from the previous part the completing the square form to solve what x square negative 6x plus 1 greater than what or equal 0 okay we need to solve it using our answer from the previous part so let's do that uh, for part 2 
we need to solve the quadratic inequality this is a quadratic inequality right for part two they're asking uh, what the quadratic inequality in this completing the square form it would be what x minus 3 whole squared negative 8 should be what greater than or equal 0 am I right x minus 3 whole squared x this was x minus 3 whole square minus 8 it should be what greater than or equal 0 now let's solve this quadratic inequality so at first for solving a quadratic inequality what we need we need critical values what are the critical values critical values are basically the points with respect to whom the region or the set of values of x that will shoot this uh, inequality will be found okay we will get we need to find out the critical values so here what are the critical criti criti like critical values here the critical values is that the points where the quadratic curve is intersecting the x-axis the solution basically at critical values what we can write values uh, x minus 3 whole squared minus 8 would be equal to what 0 right so x minus 3 whole square equals to what 8 okay and then x minus 3 would be equal to what x minus 3 would be equal to plus minus square root of 8 that is 2 square root of 2 right square root of 8 is square root of 4 times 2 that is 2 square root of 2 so we'll get critical values x equals to 3 plus minus 2 square root of 2 done we got the critical values so with respect to these critical values we will find the set of values of x or the range of possible values of x for which this inequality is what valid okay the range of possible values of x which will follow this inequality so to find out the range of possible values of x we need a sketch of the quadratic equation at first the quadratic curve so consider the quadratic equation here the coefficient of x square is what positive right since it is positive so it will be u-shaped curve right okay so since it's a u-shaped curve so it will be like this right it's just a sketch to understand the what the to uh, understand the region the range of values of x okay so here this is what 3 plus 2 square root of 2 and here it is what 3 minus 2 square root of 2 now the inequality the values of x should follow this inequality so this inequality says the values of the quadratic curve should be greater than or equal 0 that means the values of x should be such that the quadratic curve will lie above the x-axis so which part is above the x-axis definitely this part right this part of the curve is above the x-axis so this part of curve can be found for which x values for the x values that is less than that is less than what 3 minus 2 square root of 2 because this is on the left side of this critical value and again or for the x values that is greater than greater than what greater than this x value this critical value 3 plus 2 square root of 2 because it is to the right okay so solution it is what a solution would be what x less than or equal because they wanted less than or equal so it would be less than or equal okay less than or equal 3 minus 2 square root of 2 or x is greater than or equal 3 plus 2 square root of 2 that's the solution for part 2 of question b next is part c in part C, they are asking, hence find the values of x that, that satisfy both the linear inequality and the quadratic one. So that means we need to get the common solution, right? For finding the common solution, at first, consider a number line. That would be better for your understanding. Okay. For considering the number line, 
we already know that the three critical values right this is the zero and one is three minus uh, like one is okay all are positive so consider zero a bit left so one is three minus two square root of th two the other one is what three plus two square root of two and the other one is what 35 over 3 fine okay so one of the value for this like just we did early like in the previous question one solution is what x is less than or equal 3 minus 2 square root of 2 the other one was x is greater than or equal 3 plus 2 square root of 2 and in part 1 part a we got that the value of x is what less than just less than therefore a void circle less than 35 over 3 35 over 3 so what's the common part you can see that common part is from here to that right and again from here till infinity right to the negative infinity till negative infinity so the solutions for part c would be x is less than or equal what 3 minus 2 square root of 2 right or what or x is greater than or equal this is included look it's greater than or equal this is common in both of the like inequalities range of values of x so x greater than or equal 3 plus 2 square root of 2 and l less than how much 35 over 3 so this would be the range of possible values of x that will be valid for both of the inequalities and that's the answer for part c and that's all about the question the second question from may 2024 p1 regional paper that's it